Hello internet people. In this video, I'll audit a niche blog about high heel shoes. And yes, fellas, it sounds scary to look at women's shoes, but this blog has a lot of great things that you can learn from. I'll first review the design and content, then I'll check the speed, and at the end, I'll go through the SEO review. Oh, and if you have any suggestions on how I can improve these audit videos, please let me know in the comments. And guys, they are just shoes, so don't be like this guy. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Tape sweat punch. All right, so let's take a look at the website. This is a, a Portuguese website. I guess it's in Brazil. And just to make it easier, let's translate it to English. Just quickly for guys that don't know, I had to ask my girlfriend about this, but basically Scarpin is a shoe model, a shoe type. So this blog, it talks about different kinds of shoes for that. And right out of back, what I can see is it's great that you have here sort of a, what this website is about, but it's not clear uh, what I can do on this website. So is this something where I can buy? Can I just read about things or is this more of a fashion where you give advice what to wear them with? So this is a bit unclear here in the beginning. So if you have a blog or a website, make sure it's immediately clear what the website is about and what you can do there. Be as precise as Arnie. I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. But what I really like, and this is for really good for niche blogs like this one, is that um, when you click into these, it takes you to this page, which is just basically an article or a blog post. Uh, and some of them are a bit longer than this one. But as you can see, there's a lot of text here. And actually, these take you to, to Amazon Brazil. So it's an affiliate website. What I'm missing here, because it's uh, such a I don't know, fashion type of a blog, I'm missing a little bit more images. Uh, and also, I would optimize slightly the content, meaning, for example, this part, uh, it's quite wide on the page if you're on a, on a desktop. If you're on a f mobile phone, this is completely fine. It adjusts and, and looks nice. But just make it a bit more, I don't know, I, I'm missing the images and more uh, information about this because I guess the idea here is to talk about what what works with these shoes and what doesn't. So I would like to see more imagery here. Your users should be so engaged that this happens to them. But then again, I can imagine that most of your readers will be on mobile phones, mobile phone layout. And in this, this way, this looks fine to me. Again, just add the images and you're good to go. And the homepage on mobile looks absolutely fine. Uh, I don't see any problems with it. One thing that I noticed is you also have this blog part here. So I'm not sure how they're different or um, blogs, maybe in this case could be a bit more like news and things, but to me, these kind of look similar what you already have. I'm not sure how you categorize these, but let's take a look at the speed and it just looks awesome. Um, the page is pretty simple, a few images and you get a 98 score. That's probably higher than even my website. So that's, that's really great. Um, nothing I can add here. Um, you're doing a great job. Here. It's showtime. Your website is as fast as this guy's movie career. If you liked the video so far, I would appreciate if you can click on the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. And then in terms of SEO, uh, I use Uber Suggest by Neil Patel. And um, let's take a look here. You got 86 SEO score. This is a technical score. Um, to be honest, that's really good. I don't think there's much you can do. You can take a look at the critical errors, for example, or the warnings. But yeah, th this suggestion that the, has a low count for some pages it just doesn't make sense that there's more than that. So you could check this out. But I think technically it's there. But to drive more traffic, you really need to uh, get into the backlinks. Uh, and this is basically uh, somebody linking from their website to your website. So I don't know if you have friends or somebody you know in the industry, or you can just approach people that you don't know, uh, other smaller uh, blogs. If they talk about these scarping shoes, you could ask, hey, I have uh, 
blog here could you link to them or you know just make up a good uh, story for them why they should use you this is clearly a blog that is very niche and has a lot of information about these shoes so why not arnie what do you say to other bloggers you are not you you're me another thing i can see that there's no really organic traffic there yet um, which could be I don't know, maybe this blog is quite new, few months. It takes some time for Google to start ranking you. You have such a niche site, it should be okay. Um, if you get a few backlinks, that'll be great. And then you can start getting traffic to these sites. I have no idea how much people search for these. You can check it out if you want to improve certain things. So, we so let's take a look what the Scarpin keyword gives us. What kind of chances you have. So if I look at in Brazil specifically, you should go through your competition like these ones. I'm not sure if this is a shop or what it is. But as you can see, okay, this is a bigger site. So clearly they have a lot of traffic. So it's, it'll be hard to beat these guys with just this scarping word. But maybe you could add something like black scarping and things like that that you have posted about. And that, that way you can start driving traffic to, to your website. But there's a good possibility for you to rank but your challenges because your niche and there's some other big players that talk about same topics they're probably just e-commerce websites it will be a bit hard to rank for those words so you really need to go into the sort of long tail words which just means you add more words to the keyword so let's say black scarf and shoes for evening i i don't know but i hope you get the picture no problemo so clearly you're missing out on some traffic and uh, I guess that's why I see that the posts kind of end in May or so. You lose a bit of motivation if you don't get people there immediately. I, I get that. But if you want to improve this website, you could take a look at really building the backlinks. So just as an example, let's take a look at the black scarpins. And as you can see, there's actually there's quite high volume for this keywords. So you might want to take a look if there's some nice variations here that you could target because 33,000 might be a bit hard to, um, but you could try to target these. In general, my advice is to look into the backlink building. There's a couple good videos on YouTube. Just check them out, what it means and how to do it. Your website is new, but it clearly has quality content. Just try to make it better than the competition has and get some links. You could, for example, write your blog post on medium.com or somewhere else and link to your website. Or then, on the other hand, you could ask another small website if you can write a guest post where you again add your own link. My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos.